It's Diddy Can. I'm back like I never left. Cause I'm cooking up content like a chef. Shooting videos like I'm Steph uh, Curry. So hurry up, subscribe. Cause it's time for us to slide. If you are a part of the crew, you already know what to do, baby. If you're not and you would like to be, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and throw them C's up in the comment section, baby. Now, let's get right into it. I'm going to tell you guys how I use the gear gaps to buy a Sprinter van. And for those of you who don't know what kind of Sprinter van I have, I have a 2022 Mercedes Sprinter van 2500 with the high roof. I'm going to give you guys the whole story of how it all happened. Now, this all started October 24th of 2021. On October 24th, I did my first ever DoorDash order. That's the first order we ever did. Now, a lot of people always ask, what does DDK stand for? DDK stands for DoorDash King. So, I named myself the DoorDash King after I did my first order from DoorDash. And here's the proof. It's DDK and I'm here with my first video. DDK stands for... DDK stands for DoorDash King. I'm about to take over. I'm just trying to tell you right now. I'm going to show you guys things are possible. I know a lot of you guys have a lot of excuses about why you can't make your money. You got excuses about this, excuses about that, all this. All that. If you have a car and license, I'm letting you know right now. You can do DoorDash. I know some people may frown upon it. Some people may look at it a certain way. But I'm going to watch. watch. Just watch and see. I'm going to make it cool. So that's when it all started, baby. That's when we begin the journey of doing the gig apps. We initially first started off doing DoorDash. That's the only app that we did. That's the only app that we had. I had DoorDash on my phone. My business partner had DoorDash on her phone. So we just did DoorDash, DoorDash, DoorDash. We was up there getting busy. We was making some decent money then. And then, like after a while, it started to slow down a little bit. And then we was like, how about we try to add Uber Eats? So we added Uber Eats. And now we got Uber Eats and DoorDash. We just uh, getting busy on both of them. After that, we just started adding app after app after app after. I'm talking about we we literally right now have over 30 apps in my phone. Like I got over 30 apps in my phone right now. If you haven't watched the video about all the different apps you can use in your area, I do have a video showing you 30 apps. You might want to check that out. So we steady getting busy. We getting busy. We getting busy. Now let's rewind a little bit. The whole reason why we start doing DoorDash and gig economy in the first place was just like I told you guys in the video. I want to show you guys that things are possible. Now, I am a real estate agent in Wisconsin and Illinois. For those of you who don't know, I do uh, do real estate too. So, a lot of people always had excuses about they didn't have enough money, they couldn't do this, they couldn't buy no property, they can't buy no house, they can't buy no duplex, no floor break. So my whole thing was to do these DoorDash orders and do all this gig economy stuff to save up enough money and to buy a house, to buy a property. But the market changed, so I didn't end up buying the property and we ended up getting this instead. So, let me uh, we'll mine some more. So. I'm talking about we getting busy. We doing Uber Eats, DoorDash, Spark, shit. I'm talking about we doing it all. I have multiple videos on all the apps I've done. So you guys want to make sure you check that out. Honestly, one of the best apps we had was Walmart Spark. When we had Spark, we was going crazy, baby. We had, I think the highest day we had like, like $600 or close to $600 or over $600. And that was in less than like five hours, five or six hours, we got that much money. Because they have like a lot of incentives and stuff that you can get into on the Spark app. So if you don't have the Spark app and you have a car, you have a Walmart and Sam's Club near you, you might want to check that out. So we getting busy. I'm talking about we getting busy on all the gig apps. We save and save and save and save and save. And guess what? The first thing that I did was I bought a Bitcoin. I had a video on me buying a Bitcoin right in front of you guys' eyes. I bought a Bitcoin for 21000 and some dollars. I'm not sure exactly how much it was. I can't remember. But it was something like that, and I'm up right now, baby. I was like, hey, hey. Some people were saying, you should have waited, you should have, hey. If I would have waited, sometimes, a lot of times, when you try to wait too long for stuff, it just never happens, because you, you're thinking too much. So, that's one of the things I did. Then, after some time, after we got kicked off Spark, we literally got kicked off of Spark because somebody called and hated on us, and yeah, they called Spark, they hated on us. They said that we was doing the stuff together. They said that I was using my partner's app and she was using my app. They kicked her. They kicked me off first and they kicked her off. And that's pretty much what happened with the Walmart Spark thing. That's why we no longer have Walmart Spark anymore. We tried to sign up again. They won't let us in. So it just is what it is. But everything in life happens for a reason. So some time passed after we got kicked off of Spark. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, man, look. I'm all about elevating, trying to go to the next level. I don't like being stagnant and staying in the same place, doing the same thing every day, doing the same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. I always am trying to think of ways to elevate and grow and do better and better and better and better. That's how you're going to become successful because if you steady doing the same thing over and over, you're going to continue to get the same results regardless of what you may think. So I'm like, this is last year now. 
we got the Sprinter van on December 31st, 2022. So we're coming up on our year and we are gonna do a year review on the van. But I'm steady thinking, 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 thinking. I'm like, man, look, it's time. It's time to go to the next level. I'm tired of doing the small stuff. I'm feeling like if we get a bigger vehicle, we can get bigger orders and make more money. So we did a lot of research. Huge shout out to my business partner. She did a majority of the research. Cause me personally, I'm not really like really good with researching and all that stuff. I do do some research with some stuff like carrier companies, different things like that. But I'm talking about intense research. My business partner is excellent at that research stuff. So she did all like a lot of research. So we came up with the conclusion that we're gonna get the Mercedes Sprinter van. And this is the reason why we did that. We got the Sprinter van because we looked at the Ford Transit. We looked up the uh, Ram Pro Master and the Mercedes Sprinter van. And the conclusion we came up with is that the Mercedes Benz, yes, it's more expensive. Yes, when you get oil changes and stuff, it's gonna cost more money and everything, but it does seem to last longer. Like you get a better use out of it. And it holds its value lower than the other vans from what we from what we looked up. I could be wrong, but I'm quite sure that's what we looked up. That's what we found out, baby. So now what are we gonna do with the van? The plan is to get more vans. Of course, that's, that's the plan, baby. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys some pros and cons and some places where I messed up and you guys can learn from my mistakes. We got the van. I was so focused and locked in on the van. We need to get the van on December 31st, the last day of the year. We can write off on taxes and we can do all this and do all that. Yes, we did get the van. But where I messed up at was I didn't, it took time for me to switch all of my gear gaps over to from the car to the van. So the van literally, when we first got it, literally set for like a month, a month and a half or somewhere around that area before we start getting orders. And our first order we got, we at the airport, we doing our drop off run, right? We used to have a drop off run, we used to go drop off some stuff at the airport. Boom, we sitting there and this order pop up. I see 120 or 130, it was it was like close to 100, it was 100, I think it was 105 dollars, 105 dollars, 105 dollars. I'm like, what is this? So I, this, mind you, I just got this app, it's called Dispatch. I got the app, it's Dispatch. I didn't have any of this app before because we were in the car, so I ain't know about this. So boom. Got the app, that joint go off. It's in there, the pickup location is there's planes. It's the Sun Run order. Now mind you, again, this is my first time ever seeing this, so I don't know what it, what to expect or anything. I did say that I did see that it said that we need an extended van, something like is our van long enough, pause, if our van long enough to put the stuff the, the, the stuff in. Cause I don't even I don't even know what it was. I don't know nothing about Sun Run, never heard about Sun Run, know nothing about it. So I'm like, okay, forget it. We're gonna set this order and then we're gonna go and see tomorrow. And it was pick up at six in the morning. So I'm like, okay, boom. So we go there and I finally meet my guy Ken. Huge shout out, huge shout out to my guy Ken if you're watching the video. Shout out to my guy Ken, shout out to Dre, shout out to everybody over there at Sun One. We go over there and it's solar panels. We get our first order. I'm geeked, I'm geeked. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gassed up, I'm gassed up. We get our first order, we drop them off. I'm like, okay, this joint cool. Then them joints just start coming in. Boom, boom. And I got another one. The next time I got one to pick up and I got one to go pick. I got one to pick up from someone. Then I got one to pick up from my house and drop off to some run. So I'm, look, these joints starting to roll in. And I started to notice that we are definitely making more money. We're making more money than when we had Spark and all that stuff. So after that, I start implementing more apps. Huge shout out to my guy Craig over there at Curry, 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 Curry. Huge shout out to my guy Craig over there at Curry. He reached out to me on the channel and said, have you ever did a Curry order? I had no clue what Curry is. Oh, I did have a clue what Curry is. I actually signed up for Curry previous to that and I was never accepted yet. So I was still on the wait list. So my guy Craig hooked me up with the Curry app and then I started getting busy. We started, we did a Curry order and then we started implementing more apps. We tried Go Mode. Um, we tried ship driver. We tried, I mean, at this point, we trying all the apps we can to make as much money as possible. Now, the question is, what do you feel about the van? Honestly, so far, it's been pretty good. I do think that it was a good investment for us. Uh, some people may think otherwise, but to each their own, everybody gonna feel and think how they think. Um, I do want to tell you guys this though, about the van. Um, I went with a brand new van. The reason why I went with a brand new van is because I don't want no problems, man. I want this joint under warranty, and we even got an extended warranty on top of the regular warranty. Cause I, I'm not coming here to play no games. Cause if something happened, I need to be prepared. And then when this joint, we're not. I think the, the extended warranty go out at fifty thousand miles or whatever. We're going to extend it again. I'm look. I'm not here to play these games. I'm not. Cause if some break, I need to be able to be fixed. 
And when I got my warranty, I made sure, we made sure that we got it right through Mercedes Benz of Chicago. We went right through them. We ain't go to nobody else, no third party, nothing. We going right to the source because we bought it from here. So if something happened, we need to be able to bring it right back here. I, I, I do recommend that you guys get your van. And if you get the van that you want to get, make sure you have a warranty. And that's seen it as many times as you can because you never know what may happen. You want to be safe and not sorry. So definitely get you an um, extended warranty if you can. Um, one thing I will say though, one thing that I probably would have did different was I probably, I don't really know if I really need the high roof like that. I don't know because I had, and you could low key, if you're trying to do some summer order and stuff, you possibly can low key get away with like a Savannah, GMC Savannah van, like a regular cargo van versus getting the Mercedes with the high roof, the tall and all that stuff. We have had some where orders where it benefited us, but for the most part, you really don't need all that. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. You really don't need all that. Hey, it's people out there who were regular cargo vans, they're making the same money we making then. Uh, it's the same money we making with a Sprinter van. They just got a cargo van. They're making the same money, baby. And another thing is probably way easier to drive. And that when that, when them uh, semis get to blowing you all across the highway, it's not going to be as bad because the, the roof is not as high. So that's one thing I do recommend you guys do your research on that and get a van that you can afford. Do not go out here running around getting stuff that you don't need. And you try to get the biggest and best and doing all that stuff. And if you don't have the, the finances to back all this stuff, you do not want to put yourself in a bind. So make sure you do your research. And I do think you can get away with a regular cargo van. I, I do think. I don't think you need a high roof. I think that whatever you, you can afford, that's what you should get. You don't have to get what everybody else get. You can get the regular cargo van and stuff. You get your GMC Savannah, Eco Line, or whatever the cargo van you may want to get. And then later on, if you feel you want to upgrade, you can upgrade and go from there. You do not need the biggest and tallest and best van. You're, what you're trying to do is just make, make as much money as possible. And for the most part, if you're not expediting and like going over the road and all that stuff, I think you can get away with a regular cargo van. That's just my opinion. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. I get a lot of questions about the, the van and all that stuff. So just get what you can afford and what works best for you. Another thing that I would have done different is I would have been way more prepared with switching the apps over. It did take time for them to switch everything over, but I would have had I would have been already had everything in motion because the van set we could have been making money and stay at home just sitting outside looking pretty. So we could have been making money. I should have switched all the apps over before. Now we did end up finally getting commercial insurance about a couple months ago because we were just using the gig apps. We did not have commercial insurance. We had regular insurance and we were running the gig after everything was going okay. So again, I told you guys I like to elevate and go to the next level. So I'm like, it's time for us to get this commercial insurance. I've been hearing all about these low boards and all this carrier companies, all this and all that. I'm trying to get busy. I'm trying to get some more money on top of the money we was already getting. So I'm like, okay, get the commercial insurance. As of right now, we only have one carrier company. It's honestly, was the commercial insurance beneficial? Uh, yes and no. I mean, Honestly, we have some good days and we have some bad days, just like the gig apps. So one day we might go crazy, we might get two or three loans, uh, and another day we might not. I would recommend, again, learn from our mistakes. Sign up for as many carrier companies as you can. Have as many of them as you can, just all on your phone. Just like I had the apps, you need to have as many carrier companies as you can have so you can make more money. That's what, that's what we're trying to do right now. But a lot of times, some of these companies, they're not, like the split is like bad, like a 60-40 split, like it's just not a good split to me. I'm doing all the work, you're not really doing nothing. I mean, you do have the connection though. And so I, it's just, I'm just I'm just weighing the, the, the pros and cons of everything right now, as far as the carrier company goes. Um, as of right now, it's been okay. It could definitely be better because as, as of lately, it's been going absolutely terrible with the carrier company, so. So you do have to weigh the good with the bad. But it's time for us to get to this bag. Guess what? We got an order on. Delivering it. If you don't like our lean and like you could be in the back seat. Give me, give me, give me. We have an order on Deliver That. If you would like to sign up for Deliver That, you can click the link in the description and make sure you sign up and use the referral code so you can get your pockets on swole. I also have a video on how to sign up or deliver that. So make sure you check that out as well. The pickup location is on the border. We're about to go out here and get an order. The order cost is $171.83. We're gonna drive 6.9 miles, which is 14 minutes of drive time. And we will receive a minimum payment of $28.72 get this money is what we about to do let's go and just like that we are here at on the border hopefully let us get in order baby 
Since they got this joint ready right quick, ski. So we can get busy and looking ugly. Looking ugly. How you doing? You think I have to get in order? Yeah. Okay, I'm Alright, appreciate it, boss. Y'all see what's going on, baby. He got us right. Now it's time to get our pockets tight. Gonna put this right here. Whoa! We're gonna put this right there. So drop, drop like hot. So we're gonna sit the hot food right in here like this. What up? And just like that, y'all see what's going on. It's time for us to go get it on. Let's go. And we are here at the drop off. How you doing, sir? I don't know where I'm supposed to sit all this stuff at. I gotta move this. Yeah. Hey, we got this joint open. Oh, out of the pocket. Now we gotta step back. You know, to your we go. And just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hey, I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving with your family and friends. Because tomorrow we ain't really gonna be able to get no bands because everything gonna be closed. So we're gonna see what happens tomorrow. Um, I really don't know what we're gonna do about a video tomorrow. We're gonna figure it out as we go, as we always do. Y'all know my flow stick like the flu. And if you're new, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And if you're a part of the Triple C's, don't forget to throw them C's up. I will see you guys on the next one. We go, we go, we flowing. You already know in the DDK, and I'm on my way.